supply is a lot like demand, it's just from the producer's perspective. So as a producer, we can start with a similar table as before and say that at some price, there's a quantity that I'm willing to supply. We might denote that as QS. So there's an amount that I'm willing to supply, and as you might think, uh, if I'm making jam and the price per jar is only $1, I might not make very much. Uh, in this case, I might make only two jars. If the price goes up, say to three, I might be willing to make more, say 10 jars. If the price goes up even more, say to six, I might here be willing to make 25 jars. So our supply curve is telling us the relationship between the price and the quantity supplied, which is, at that price, how many jars am I willing to supply? So we can graph it. Here, let's start at a price of 1. And here we notice that this is going to end up way over here at 2. So at a price of 1, only 2 will be supplied. We can think of this as, uh, if we start at a low price, um, these might be the suppliers who have the lowest cost of making jam. So they're going to be willing to produce at a low price. As our price starts increasing, more people say, hey, it's worth it to me to make a jam, so I'll go ahead and quit whatever else I was doing and start making jam. That will increase the amount of jam supplied uh, because the price is increasing. So if we add in, uh, we have our point here, if we go to three, and we say the, that there's a quantity of ten, and then at six, there's a quantity of twenty-five. might think it'll look something like this. We can call that the supply curve. Now if we call our demand, recall the demand schedule, it looks something like this. So that's our demand curve. And what we notice here is that at a price of three dollars, there's both ten units of jam supplied and ten, ten units of jam demanded. So we call that the market clearing price or the equilibrium quantity. So uh, at ten dollars, I'm willing, or at, sorry, at, at when I'm buying ten jars of jam, I'm willing to pay three dollars. In order to make 10 jars of jam, they require $3 uh, to be paid, so here we end up at equilibrium.